Dear colleague, I'm Dr. Fuji, professor of urology at Tokyo Medical and Dental University. We'd like to introduce our novel bladder preservation strategy for muscle invasive bladder cancer, MIBC. That is tetramodal therapy incorporating partial cystectomy with pelvic lymph node dissection as a consolidative therapy following induction chemoradiotherapy. Tetramodal therapy provides excellent oncological and functional outcomes in appropriately selected MIBC patients. Dr. Kijima will summarize our recently published BJUI paper. Hi, I'm Dr. Kijima. I would like to start with the current status and possible limitations of tetramodal therapy. Bladder preservation therapy has become acknowledged as an important treatment option for MIBC, and tetramodal therapy consisting of maximum TUL, chemotherapy, and radiotherapy is the mostly preferred option. One of the possible limitations of tetramodal therapy is MIBC recurrence in preserved bladder. Reportedly, it occurs in 11 to 19 percent of patients who achieved complete response after tetramodal therapy, and it frequently occurs within the original MIBC sites. Another concern regarding tetramodal therapy is recurrence in pelvic lymph nodes. It occurs in more than 10% of patients after tetramodal therapy. Even after complete response is achieved with tetramodal therapy, small foci of residual cancer may exist at original MIBC site, then cause MIBC recurrence. So, we developed tetramodal therapy comprising partial cystectomy and pelvic lymph node dissection as consolidative therapy after induction chemoradiotherapy. Partial cystectomy may surgically eradicate residual cancer and reduce recurrence. On BJUI paper, we reported the long-term oncological and functional outcomes of the 107 patients. During the study period, 154 patients met the inclusion criteria and received induction chemoradiotherapy. For the patient who achieved complete remission of MIVC, partial cystectomy was proposed. Salvage radical cystectomy was recommended for the adults. 107 patients completed the protocol with consolidative partial cystectomy. Protocol completion rate was 69%. Although the patient were clinically diagnosed with complete remission of MIBC before partial cystectomy, pathological examination revealed the presence of residual invasive cancer in 10% of patients. Lymph node metastasis was observed in 2% of patients. Among the 107 patients who completed the protocol with consolidative partial cystectomy, 5-year MIVC recurrence-free survival rate was 97% and cancer-specific survival rate was 93%. On an intent to treat analysis of 154 enrolled patients, 5-year cancer-specific survival rate was 83%. Although these results should be attributed to the strict patient selection, tetramodal therapy provided excellent oncological outcomes. Preserved bladder functions after tetramodal therapy were also excellent, with adequate maximum void volume and residual volume. Quality of life of our patients were well preserved and comparable to the scores in age-matched reference. Partial cystectomy, which allows the confirmation of chemoradiotherapy response pathologically, may also have contributed to the low MIBC recurrence rate in our patients. 
This unique strategy will enable us to find molecular markers predicting chemoradiotherapy response and may also contribute to extend the candidate for bladder preservation therapy.